Welcome everyone. My name is Pramod Bisal and in this video we are going to discuss about GATE 2022 plan in detail covering four number of revisions, three times notes making, completing full theory with 30 years of previous year questions and two test series. Now if you want to include all of these things in your timetable then what should be your strategy, what should be your time plan that we are going to discuss in this video. Starting with certain tips and certain points that you need to keep in your mind so that you do not get stressed out during execution of your strategy then we will understand the time requirement to cover the theory, PYQs and test series so that we can understand the time that we need. We already know the time at our hand. So we will do an analysis and come up with a comprehensive GATE 2022 plan to cover the theory, PYQs, test series, notes making and revisions comfortably before February. Now in some cases it may not be possible for you to execute this timetable exactly. You may not be able to follow this timetable completely. Then what are the amendments, what are the modifications that you can do in this strategy that we are going to discuss based upon your targets and priorities. And finally I am going to tell you about the calendar app which you can use to track your preparation to see whether you are going on the right path or you need any modifications in your timetable or your strategy. Okay. So let's start with those points first. The very first thing that you need to understand is that we all are at different level of preparations. We all have different grasping capacities. Our theory levels are different. So each and every candidate needs their own specific strategy. We may not follow the exact strategy that other people are following. So you should not worry about the timetable or the strategy that others are following around you. You have to make your own strategy. You have to make your own timetable and plan. The second thing that you need to understand is that notes making is very very important because it will help you to do effective revisions. Notes making will help you to memorize all the concepts and formulas for a longer period of time. So do not think of it as a time wastage. Just think of it as a means to do quick and effective revisions. The third thing that you need to understand is we should have specific targets with specific time limits because then only we can check whether we are on the right track or not. If I know that by this date I have to cover this many questions and this many topics then only I can understand if I am going on the right path or not. Otherwise I will not be able to understand whether I am following my strategy correctly or not. The fourth thing is material does not matter as long as you are able to solve the practice questions and as long as you are able to solve the previous year questions. Now different people are following different materials. Someone would be following books, someone is following uh, made easy material, someone is following made easy handwritten notes, someone is following some other coaching's handwritten notes, someone is following NPTEL, someone is following YouTube. So different people are following different materials. So it does not matter what material you are following as long as you can solve the practice questions from that material and as long as you can solve the previous year questions that is more important. Now these are the points which you need to keep in your mind before you embark on the journey of preparation for exams like GATE and ESC. Now if we see the time requirement let's talk about theory first. So for theory a lot of people are confused whether they should follow standard books or some other source. Now my advice for the people who are preparing for GATE 22 and even for 23 you should avoid following any standard book because they contain a lot many unnecessary concepts, lot many unnecessary questions which will not help you in any way for GATE exam or ESC exam. The best way to cover the theory if you are doing self-study is to follow the handwritten notes of any good coaching or to follow the YouTube videos or in some cases for specific topics you can follow the NPTEL videos or NPTEL PDFs. That should be the source of your theory. Now when we talk about the requirement of previous year questions, basic thing is you should be doing minimum 15 years, maximum 30 years. So let's say if you are doing 30 years of previous year questions, then each year there is a question paper of 3 hours. So total 90 hours you have to give to previous year questions. So every day if you give 10 hours to your study, then 6 hours you can easily give to solve the questions and remaining 3 or 4 hours you can easily give to analyze those questions, to make the notes or to do the revisions also if you want. Okay. So in one day you will be able to solve 2 years of previous year questions. So total for 30 years you will be needing 15 days. That is the requirement for previous year questions. Now let's take a look at the requirement for a test series and we are going to take example of a made easy test series because most of the candidates they follow made easy test series only. right? So there are 24 topic wise tests, 45 minute each. 12 subject wise test 90 minute each, 6 multiple subject test 90 minute each, 4 basic level full length test 180 minute of course, 4 advanced test 180 minute each and 4 mock test 180 minute each. 
so the net requirement of time to complete a full test series like MADG is equivalent to 27 tests individually right so in order to complete 27 tests again if we take six hours of question solving every day and we take three to four hours for analysis and uh, revision and notes making in terms of test series then you can solve two papers in a day then again for 27 papers you are going to need roughly 15 days for one test series that is the requirement of a test series now we have understood the requirement of previous year questions we understand the requirement of test series for revisions let's say you are going to take five days for revision at every stage so based upon these requirements the time that we are having at our hand is from 15 august that is today to the 12th of february or the Fe in february wherever your exam is we are having roughly 178 days that is almost equal to six months now in those six months how you can cover the theory previous year questions and test series let's take a look at that and come up with a comprehensive gate 2022 plan okay let's take a look at that now we are going to start our plan in reverse manner so we will start from february then we will come to january then december all the way up to august to see how much time you need to give to what component of your preparation okay now if you started your preparation two or three months ago then this plan is going to be perfect for you otherwise you can make certain changes and amendments in it according to your own requirements and priorities so let's see your exam is in february either it will be on first weekend or on the second weekend and you should use the time that you are going to get in february completely to do the revisions so there will be revision number three and revision number four which will be done in february time only Revision number three is for the notes that you made from your test series, which will be hardly 15 to 20 pages. So it will take you roughly one to two hours to uh, revise those 15, 20 pages. And you can easily do that on daily basis regularly. And in the remaining time, you should be revising your complete theory from the initial notes or the initial source of theory. Okay. So there will be revision three for the test series notes. There will be revision four of the complete theory that you made for the first time. That is what you need to do in the February time. Now, before that, the last thing that we need to do is test series. So as I told you, we need 15 days roughly for one test series. So if you are going to take two test series, then you will be needing 30 days. And in those 30 days, you can easily cover the test series questions. You can easily analyze them. You can make the notes of them and you can do each and everything in those 30 days. So this one month of January, you should be giving completely to take up two test series at max, right? Now, before the test series, the last thing that we need to do is revision from our previous year questions, right? That will be our revision number two. So we are going to take five days for that. So from 26th of December to 31st of December, five days we are going to designate to do our revision number two and to solve the previous year questions, which we could not solve in the first attempt. So there will be solving of previous year questions, the marked PYQs, and there will be revision number two from the notes of PYQs in those five days. Now, before that, the last thing that we are going to solve is previous year questions. So as I told you that 30 years of previous year questions are going to take you roughly 15 days, but we are going to give them 20 days. At maximum, in 20 days, you should be able to solve those 30 years of previous year questions. So let's take that the date from 6th of December to 25th of December is given to solve 30 years of previous year questions. You can easily solve the questions in them. You can easily analyze the PYQs if you want. You can easily make the notes because we have already discussed that part, right? So these 20 days can easily be utilized for solving 30 years of PYQs with notes making. Now, before that, again, we are going to give five days to our revision one. That will be the revision of first notes, right? So. Uh, Right, from 1st of December to 5th of December, the five days will be given to our revision number one. That will be our notes one revision. Now, again, in those five days, you may need five to 10 days in some cases. You are going to revise your notes and you are going to solve the practice questions which you marked or the questions which you could not solve in the first attempt. So there will be solving of questions. There will be revision, quick revision in those five days. Now, before that, the time that we are remaining with can be utilized completely for the theory part only. So the time that we are finally remaining with for the theory is from 15th of August to 30th of November. That is total 105 days. Now in those 105 days, you need to cover the theory. So that is the time that you are going to give to your theory. If you solve two test series completely, if you solve 30 years of previous year questions and you do three or four number of revisions, then you are remaining with 105 days for the theory. Now in these 105 days, if you are remaining with 10 subjects, 
then you will be getting 10.5 days per subject so in those 10.5 days you need to cover the theory and you need to make the notes and you need to practice some questions related to that particular subject if you have already covered certain subjects let's say you are remaining with eight subjects only then the per subject time you will be getting is 13.12 days so 13 days for one subject to cover the theory to make the notes and to solve the questions i think that is quite sufficient also if your preparation has been quite good and you started early preparation if you are remaining with six subjects only then the time that you are going to get per subject will be 17 days and in that case 17 days for one subject is totally sufficient you are not going to face any problem to cover the theory to make the notes and to solve some questions so 17 days for one subject are totally enough and more than sufficient now of course every subject is not going to take similar time so you are going to adjust the time there will be some subjects which will take only 5 to 6 days there will be some subjects which are going to take 15 to 20 days so you can adjust the time accordingly to your subjects okay so that is the basic timetable that you can make now as i told you that this timetable may not be possible for everyone to follow so what amendments you can make based upon the targets based upon the priorities the first thing that you can uh remove to increase the time for your theory if you need more time to cover the theory then the first thing that you can remove from this timetable is the second test series that should be your least priority okay so you will automatically get 15 days at your hand which you can utilize to cover the theory even then if you are unable to cover the theory even then if you need more time then the second least priority is 15 years of previous year questions so instead of solving 30 years of previous year questions you should focus only on 15 years of previous year question and that way you are going to get 10 more days which you can utilize to cover the theory now i think that much should be sufficient for everyone who is doing their preparation sincerely to cover the theory very easily even then if it is not possible for you then you need to squeeze the time that you are having for your theory because you should do at least one test series you should do at least 15 years of previous year questions in that case uh, the only thing that will be possible for you is to leave certain topics to leave certain subjects which do not hold much weightage in our exam okay now uh, the thing that you need to remember here is for all the subjects you need to read at least the basic theory once or twice that much is necessary but you can leave their questions you can leave the complex theories and you may not give much time to those particular topics and you may not even revise them if you do not have enough time otherwise i think you will be having sufficient time you can easily follow the timetable that i have discussed here based upon these priorities also okay so that is about our timetable that is about the amendments or the changes that you can make in this timetable now if you really want to see whether you are on the right track or not then there is a calendar app which is available in all the android phones and i think in apple mobile also there will be some similar app which you can use in this calendar app on every day basis you need to put reminders every day 7 am or 8 am whatever is your waking time you should put a reminder for that time that today you are going to solve that many questions or today you are going to uh, read that many topics that should be your morning reminder then there should be a afternoon reminder that okay uh, that many hours have passed now the time that i am remaining with is only 7 to 8 hours and in this 7 8 hours i have to finish the remaining questions and remaining topics then there should be last reminder at dinner time also so if you put three reminders for every day in this calendar app or in any other reminder app you can easily track your preparation you can easily analyze whether your preparation is going on the right track or right path or not and you will be doing a very good preparation to get a very good rank okay so that is a gate 2022 plan that you can follow easily this is a very comprehensive plan we have included everything in it we have made three times notes we have done four revisions and we have given sufficient time to do the analysis of test series to solve the previous year questions and to solve the theory with notes and practice questions so that is the timetable that you can follow if you are preparing for gate 20 intro in remaining 6 months okay so that's all for this video thank you for watching and good luck for your gate exam if you are preparing for it thank you